Police say they have connected the suspects in the murders of three teenagers last month to a string of violent acts over several days. KCCI's Kayla James tells us what was revealed today when one of the suspects appeared in court. Emmanuel Cote is one of three suspects in the January 30th triple murder that left Devante and Malachi Swanks and their friend Thane Wright dead. At Tote's preliminary hearing Friday morning, detectives say the suspects had several interactions with the victims that day. Witnesses placed all three at the residence and leaving on two separate occasions with the brothers. The Moines police were called to that same home after 11 where they found the bodies and evidence, which would match the gun used in a shootout on Evergreen Avenue the very next day. Investigators say another suspect, they Sean Gills, was involved in that shooting. Mr. Gills was located uh, attempting to take two boxes of property and two one liter jugs of lighter fluid. Some of that property included items stolen from another victim who was robbed hours before the triple murder took place. Detectives say the victim saw images of Gills and Toite after their arrest and told his school resource officer that they were the ones involved in the robbery. Both men are being charged with three counts of murder in the first degree and one count of robbery. Despite all the evidence presented in court, Tote's attorney says it's not enough. Questioning this detective if any witness saw his client getting in the vehicle to drive to the Swank's home. You don't have anyone saying that. Is that correct at this point? No. This KCCI is Kayla James reporting. Leontreal Jones, the third, is the third suspect the Des Moines police are trying to find. Investigators are asking anyone with information to contact them.